I'll just read one more. Okay. All right. I'll read one more little message because they are quite uplifting. So just for those who listen later on the recordings, we're at the end of a, a seven day week long retreat with Ajahn Brahm and myself called Fizz and Sparkle. <laughs> Emboldening the mind with Fizz and Sparkle. And uh, yeah, Adrian saying, thanks so much for being such an inspiration. I can tell it feels different for me to be taught by a female monastic, I find myself more receptive to it. Ajans are great, but there's something different in your energy that helped me a lot. That's lovely. So I'm just finishing reading out a few comments from the retreat, all very lovely. Uh, wonderful to be with kind friends. Thank you with all my heart for your beauty. I would love to join you for the Sutta class and hopefully for Matthias's meditation. It's actually everyone's meditation, kindly hosted by Matthias. So it's your meditation in your community. I look forward to staying in touch. Beautiful. And Stefan would like an email with the contact dates. Yes, I'll be sending out emails after this retreat uh, with the links to the YouTube channel and all sorts of other stuff. So I'll get that information in there as well. Okay, you'll get everything you need. So. Let's uh, leave the chat box now. <laughs> It'll be time to write back to us as well. And we can just sit quietly in whatever you find a relaxing posture. And we'll just spend 10 more minutes in meditation. Even when no words are spoken, you can feel that peace, that joy in the heart. It's the joy of the Dhamma, but it's the joy of practicing Dhamma among spiritual community. So much more powerful when we're together. Even more so when we're alone together. So just really opening to any feelings or sensations, emotions in the body, in the mind, in the heart, of happiness, contentment, joy, ease, perhaps a feeling of satisfaction or even relief. <laughs> that you finished, completed this wonderful retreat. And taking a few moments, not only to reflect on gratitude towards your companions and teachers here, but also congratulating yourself. for so undertaking such subtle, immensely valuable, sometimes challenging and ennobling work. For any progress in understanding, in peace, in practice that you've made, What a rare opportunity it is to deepen our practice together. What an incredibly precious and valuable human life we have. And we're not wasting it. We found the Dhamma 
heard the teachings and gained inspiration and confidence in the path. It's that inspiration and confidence that emboldens the heart, gives us courage to take the next step. And that next step is taken just by landing in the here and now, just by being present to this tiny moment. This tiny moment of being in contact with the reality, the simple reality of sitting, breathing, being mindful and kind. See if you can imagine your heart smiling, glowing with loving kindness for yourself and for all beings sitting here together in this room radiating happiness and peace. Imagining this bright light, this inner smile, radiating outward towards everyone you're likely to meet. People you've planned to meet, who you know, who are perhaps dear or maybe a little bit challenging. And to those beings you don't yet know that you'll meet. Imagining staying connected to this inner smile, this inner peace that's available to you at any time in all your encounters from here on in. Recognizing that sometimes irritation is bound to arise Disappointments are bound to happen. But we're learning to meet it all with a smile and with forgiveness. And whatever happens in life, you can always return to the goodness in your heart and the support of spiritual friends who are learning not to judge, who are learning along with you to be kind. I'd like to just suggest that you join me in some intentions of seeking and offering forgiveness. Just listening to the words and seeing if you can feel the meaning of these words with sincerity. 
opening your heart to forgiveness for anything you may have done that may have hurt or harmed another being. Anything I've done with body, speech or mind that may have caused hurt or harm intentionally or unintentionally I seek forgiveness. If anyone comes to mind, you can imagine seeking forgiveness with that inner smile, radiating metta on this person from whom you're requesting genuinely forgiveness. And if anyone has hurt me through their actions of body, speech or mind, knowingly or unknowingly, intentionally or unintentionally, I offer them my forgiveness or I offer them my intention to forgive in time. Just gently opening your heart to that possibility, keeping in touch with the inner smile, that place of safety inside. No force. Absolute gentleness. Just planting the intention and letting that intention guide the mind in due course. And now coming back to your body, your mind, your heart your inner goodness, any virtue, any quality that you see inside. We're now going to forgive ourselves. So if there's anything that I have not forgiven myself for, anything I've done has harmed myself or another, any mistake or perceived mistake or fault that I have, perceived fault, I offer myself complete forgiveness, full loving kindness, acceptance and peace. Resting in the beauty inside. I forgive myself. 
I accept myself completely. And give myself the gift of freedom to keep developing on this beautiful, noble path, leaving the past mistakes, the past unhappiness, despair, maybe sadness behind. Always ready to connect to the beautiful intentions, my highest values and purposes in life. And keep taking just another step. I'm going to chant a meta blessing. Keep your eyes closed and just receive these words and sentiments of loving kindness that are generated from my heart and from everybody's heart here to support each other. So from our heart to yours. Sabe Sata Sabe Pana Sabe Buddha Sabe Pugala Sabe Atta Bawa Pariapana Saba Etio Sabe Porisa Sabe Aria Sabe Anavia Sabe Dewa Sabe Mendusa Sabe Vini Padika Awe Rahontu Abya Paja Hontu Ani ga hon tu Sukiat nam pavi hervan tu Duka munjan tu Yadalada sampati to Maui gachan tu Kama Saka Sadu 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 So there's the big three Sadu from my teacher through me to you to end this meditation and thank you once again for being here for your beautiful practice to Spud, to Kobe, to any other animals that have been joining as well and obviously to all you very beautiful human beings and I hope the Dhamma keeps developing in your heart. I know it will, because <laughs> it's impossible. Once you've tasted some of the benefits, it's impossible to stop. So it is really that happiness and that peace of meditation that you feel and you taste for yourself that will keep you going with courage and with confidence that this is indeed the way to full liberation.
doesn't matter how far you think you've gone, it's leading the right direction. So eventually that's where you'll be. <laughs> Complete bliss and freedom without any suffering. So keep taking steps and never feel that the suffering is a mistake or is a hindrance or is something to get rid of because that is what deepens our capacity to love. And it's what deepens our capacity for wisdom to arise into these truths of suffering and into the way they arise and also cease. So never give up. And um, please, hopefully we we'll see you again. You'll continue coming to some of our events, to our group sits and whatever else we might be able to offer from time to time. So thank you again for everybody's support. You're all very awesome. So take care and goodbye. <laughs> Shall we unmute? Shall we stop the recording?